Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to be talking about our kettlebell halo. The halo is an exercise which I first learned from Steve Maxwell, maybe back in 2006 area there. I believe that it might have been adapted from heavy club swinging. I don't know. What we're going to do is we are going to start at our 90 degree angle with the arms and we are going to orbit the head. You will notice that this exercise looks just like a heavy club shield cast. So when we start this exercise, we are going to start. Palms are going to face backwards away from you so that when we pick it up, we have our feet pointed straight ahead. We are going to pick it up, get it into position, 90 degree angle on both arms. Squeeze your elbows tight to your body. Around the head, hands all the way back and down, back to center. other direction. Mistakes that people make when they do this, twofold. Usually, they either bring their arms way back behind their body and they rest the kettlebell on their body because they're not using their arms, or they don't bring their hands down in the back. They keep their hands really high up. When people rest the kettlebell on their body, they will usually flare their arms out and you will see this big gap underneath the arms. Squeeze the elbows together, push the weight off the body. It's you'd rather have your elbows in front of you than behind you. Upper arm vertical, squeeze your elbows tight to the body. As this goes back behind you, the goal is to get our thumb pretty close to our shirt. So from here, side view, our 90 degrees with the arms, around the head, all the way back to center. Around the head, back to center. When people do it wrong, it tends to look something like this. What you'll notice is this is up too high. People don't want to bend their arms beyond 90 degrees. Get them all the way down and all the way close to your body. As your arm is going through this movement, it does not stay at 90 degrees the whole time. It is 90 degrees when it is in front of your body. As it goes around in the back, it will become less than 90 degrees. And then you will have to use some tricep to get it out as you bring it back around to the 90 degree position. This is an ideal exercise to put into a warm up with a lighter weight than your target weight that you are using that day, usually probably two weights down or more from where you're at. If I'm doing this with a warm up, I usually use a 16K, but if you're new to it, use a lighter weight. Lighter is better until you get the full structure. What people will do also is they will move their head out of the way of the kettlebell instead of moving the kettlebell around their head. As people go through this movement, you'll see them deviate their neck and move their head forward so that they have to move the kettlebell less far. Think about moving the kettlebell all the way around your head, but not moving your head. If you're moving the kettlebell and you're moving your head out of the way at the same time, you're probably doing it wrong. Do it more better. Head up, chin up. Go ahead, retract your chin. Feel like you're making a bit of a fat face and then keep your head and your eyes level the entire time as you go around the head. When people are jutting their chin forward, it's usually because their shoulders are collapsed forward and down. Roll your shoulder blades down and back, squeeze your elbows together, keep your head in one spot. If you're looking in a mirror, don't move your head in the mirror, don't duck around. If you find your head moving, if the world shifts from your point of view, don't do any of that. Keep your head solid, move the weight around your head. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.